Hi, we are the urinary incontinence team working on wireless implantable devices for midbrain control of bladder function. Do you remember wetting the bed or peeing your pants as a child? Imagine this happening to you right now in the middle of this class. How embarrassed would you be? Urinary incontinence affects roughly 200 million people worldwide and affects people as young as 17 years old. Current treatments are costly for the average American and only provide a quick fix as opposed to solving the problem long term. Market analysts predict the market size to reach $19 billion in the next five years. We are fortunate that recent studies have shown that bladder can be controlled by stimulating a specific area in the brain, the periaqueductal gray area. Our team of biomedical engineers working on this clinical research project in collaboration with Dr. Lovick from the University of Bristol, as well as the Center of Implantable Devices at Purdue University, will be uniquely qualified to explore this urinary incontinence problem. The goal is to develop a system of implantable devices and equipment to contribute to the overall urinary incontinence clinical research project. The implantable portion comprises of pressure sensors and a circuit that connects the pressure sensors to a microcontroller and a software code to integrate the circuit with the microcontroller. Additionally, test methods were developed to evaluate deep brain simulation parameters within rats as the animal model. Animal cages equipped with inductive power coils for wireless powering were designed and developed for the collection of the necessary data. Through animal testing, our device will allow us to accurately assess bladder pressure, urinary output volume, urination frequency, and patterns. We want to match bladder pressure with stimulation times to better predict urinary voiding. Our team believes that if we can manipulate the neuronal control network by an external means, it can offer great therapeutic potential in treating those with urinary incontinence. Once the device has been proven effective in an animal model, the target market will shift to the patient population. We hope that the final goal will provide patients a seamless way to regain control of their bladder and more importantly, their lives.